Hey, what's up, y'all? Simple, easy chicken pita. We're eating chicken. We're on the way to good health, and I'm told in my household that everybody wants something delicious, but they want chicken or seafood. So I'm going to show y'all how to make the best chicken pita in the world. Homemade. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. I got y'all. I promise. A huge chicken breast here I got from um, Costco, but I've already um, um, washed it off, and um, I just cut a few little things out of it that I may not want here and there. Wipe it off. But the main thing that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get in this chicken breast, and I'm using y'all see this blade, Shell Carmen HTX branded knife. Get yourself one at www.shellcarmenhtx.com, and y'all see how I just slide with ease through our chicken breast. And this one chicken breast is gonna feed three people, okay? I know food is high, and I'm um, show y'all how to save some money and eat healthy at the same damn time. And we have our chicken breast already um, split apart. We're going in with some granulated garlic, granulated onion. We're going in there with no salt, guys. Um, black pepper shakers. And we're going to add, um, we love cracked pepper on everything. So make sure you go to www.chefcarmenhtx.com. Y'all see that logo. Have one of these in your kitchen, because I got y'all. I promise. Got my seasoning on one side. I am going to season both sides of this chicken. But what I like to do is tenderize my chicken. Just to get in there with a fork. It makes a difference in that meat. Make it tender and juicy like Lucy, chef. Pimp down. Pimp on the ground and rolling around. Okay, so I'm tenderizing this. Turn it over. I season this side with a little bit of onion. Garlic. Put it with a little bit of cracked black pepper. And look what we're using. Y'all see that brand? Chef Carmen um, branded black pepper and salt shakers. Y'all can get those at www.chefcarmenhtx.com. And another thing, make sure you're following my page, Chef Carmen TV. All right, guys, let's go in here with a little bit of avocado oil in our pan. A row. Okay. And then let's go in there with our chicken breast. Okay. Listen to that pan shine. Listen to that sizzle, my noodle. And we're just going to let our chicken sear. And while our chicken is searing, we're going to make our sauce for our chicken pita. Alright, let's take a nice turn over our chicken breast. See how nice and seasoned that chicken breast is. That's what you look. See how that season is searing. So it. Trying to make sure that I get up under this one. Perfectly cooked chicken breast. Alright guys, I'm using Shelf Carmen um, branded cheese bread right here. here. And Chef on great like she even handed. And see how quick and easy, see how easy it just grates up that cucumber for us. Okay, let's get another cucumber in there. We got a lot of big pieces of the shell. And uh, let's do the same thing. See how nice and easy it is. Shredding up that cucumber for our tzatziki sauce. Make sure you go to www.shellcarbonatech.com. You better get you one of these. Look at this. Somebody get in here. See how easily. Okay. Okay, so we're going to drop our red onion down in here. And I'm going to use my little cup thing to put pressure on it. And we're going to grate some red onion. See how it just flows out. That's it. Y'all see how nice and quick that was? That's we grated the perfect grated um, red onions. Okay. Okay, let's go down and make our tzatziki sauce. I'm using Chef Carmen's branded wooden spoon. And I'm gonna get maybe a cup. Let's get a little, let's go with a cup and a half. And this is just plain Greek yogurt. Going down with a tablespoon of granulated garlic, a tablespoon of granulated onion. Carmen's branded salt and pepper shaker. Let's put some cracked black pepper in here. You know it ain't gonna be white unless you add that cracked black pepper shaker. Gonna add just a pinch of Himalayan salt. Or lemon, you need this. Okay, and your tzatziki sauce. Let's go in there with a couple of tablespoons of fresh lemon juice, not that bottled lemon juice. Carmen's branded knife. Let's get in here. 
Let's top up. Uh, maybe a whole tablespoon of fresh dill. You definitely want fresh dill in your tzatziki sauce. Put all that fresh dill down in our tzatziki sauce. We're gonna get it off both sides because we need all of that dill. All right, let's get in here. I got some fresh garlic. I'm just gonna send this uh, tzatziki sauce over the top. I'm just gonna go in there with two cloves of fresh garlic because I already got some granulated garlic in there. So we're just gonna chop, chop it up. With our fresh garlic. All right, let's get in the bowl and we're gonna stir all this up as well. See, so y'all see that dill, that like garlic, lemon juice, I got garlic, onion, a little bit of salt, and black pepper in there. All right, so let's take and drop. Y'all remember the cucumbers that we shredded? It's a very important part of tzatziki sauce. Let's take and stir in some cucumber. All right, and let's go in there with some crumbled up feta. That's it and that's all. Straight from the windows of your wall, the best tzatziki sauce in the world is right here. You can use any bread, a pita bread, um, you can get this from any grocery store. And all you do is just to heat up your pita bread, just take it and put it on your, your griddle, and I'm gonna heat it on both sides. All right, guys, let's come in here. Our chicken is done. Look how beautiful our chicken is. And we're simply gonna slice this chicken up. I like to slice my chicken into little, really thin strips to fit right on this pita. Really thin strips. Chop, chop, chop it up, chef. Chop it till you can't no more. Order this knife in my cutting board at www.chefharmonyhtx.com. I don't swear, I peed this. I almost forgot the tomatoes. You gotta have tomatoes on your gyros and your pitas if you like tomatoes or if you can have them. Chop, chop them up, chef. All right, guys, so we got our pita bread here. What I like to do is take, you know, you gotta have that sauce all over the bottom. Cucumbers and all, okay? Let's take it and lock that down in there. And we're gonna sit it down in our pita holder, okay? Gotta have a lot of that tzatziki sauce, okay? Sit it down. And let's put the tzatziki sauce on there. Okay. Next thing we wanna do, we're gonna go in there with some chicken all over the bottom, then a little bit of lettuce, okay? Then we're gonna go in there with some cucumbers, I mean tomatoes, I love tomatoes on here. I like to put a few more um, the shredded cucumbers in there. See how good that look? That's looking delicious already. And last and certainly not least, let's sprinkle some those shredded red onions on there, and then we're gonna add a little more chicken in there. Gotta have more chicken. Chicken extra chicken chef. And then we're gonna hit it with a little more tzatziki sauce. How good does that look, okay? Let's see if the holder gonna hold it. That's a big pita. It ain't even gonna hold it, okay. And let's put our chicken on the bottom because we want chicken in every bite, right? Let's go with chicken in every single bite. Let's go in here with a little bit of lettuce, a little bit of lettuce, Let's get some tomatoes in here. Let's go in there with some those shredded onions. I like to go in there with a few more shredded cucumbers. Okay. And then I'm gonna hit it with some more chicken. See how good that look. Chicken, actually chicken. Don't give me no pita without no meat in it. And then I'll top it off with some tzatziki sauce. How good is it? Top chef. Top it off. Be a boss and top it off. All right, y'all. Y'all see this? Look how big that is. Chef, put a few tomatoes on top. Oh, you love tomatoes. Okay, let me take a bite for y'all. Man, I got that. 